Okay, I gotta go through this somewhat quick because my batteries are going dead, but here's the deal. Here's the handle for the wheel lift. Pull the wheel lift off. Or the <laughs> controls for the wheel lift, sorry. And you can run this from inside the cab if you can see it very good or not. But I have to do it from out here so I can show you guys. This is how offset it is from the bumper. Open the shells. Down, out, left, out, back to the right, out, got to back up right here, can you hold that? Like so. If you have it down to there, you can back right up underneath pretty much any vehicle. Yeah, I'll show you the ice cleat. If you're digging into the road, you need that extra traction. Wheel lift controls. Again, we're going to go through this fairly quickly here. Dollies. Controls for the sling. Got boom, new Ramsey winch, tires are okay on the dollies, bottoms out on there, both toolboxes have split compartments, there's jumper cables, there's a chain, usually we keep our tools, tool kits, that kind of stuff in there, you can lock them, show you the fuel leak most importantly. Pressure's good, fuel gauge, temp gauge does not work, and the, the light does work down there. The PTO switch panel here, headlight switch, hood release, power windows, fold out mirrors, gives you the extra room you need. Towing a long load, they fold out, flip over twice the room. New alternator, battery, K and N air filter, the engine. You can't hear me very good, but I'll put you in there to see the leak. Okay, of course it's not leaking at the moment. Uh, I don't know, I guess it quits when it warms up, but I noticed it when it was cold, but it was dripping there. From when it does leak, though, it drips out of there. You can see the side of the injector pumps a little damp. It's not a terrible fuel leak, but it is a fuel leak, and it'll probably develop and get worse until the problem's fixed. Batteries, new, alternators new, starters new, all the cables have been doubled and tripled and are all also new. Ok, 
Okay, my batteries are about to take a dive on us, but I wanted to show you again. No aluminum. All aluminum, I mean, sorry. There's the wheel straps. All aluminum body. This also has the diagram for the grease points. Grease zerks. Type of lubricants used for the Jardin wheel lift and the record unit. Fuel can. Fuel tank is also split on the other side. Uh, body damage. For the most part, there's the body damage. Got hit by a drunk driver a few years ago. And then stainless steel simulators, about 50% tread on the tires, send the simulators, 40-50%, you can't see very good. These are heavy, extra strong sidewall, Goodyear, Dura wall technology, tires, puncture resistant sidewalls. Well, there's the rams that turn it from side to side. There's the box with your tow lights and your other chain for the axle for the sling or safety. Wheel chalk, fuel can. There's the access port to add hydraulic oil, get to all the blocks, lines, whatever it takes. If you need to get in there, another aluminum box, the whole body. If you're on the East Coast, you got rusty trucks, this thing may need a paint job, but it'll always look like this. It'll never rust away. The truck is not rusty whatsoever. It does have some scrapes and dents and bruises and definitely in need of paint. Runs off the back of the intake, down the engine, mixes with the oil that's on it. Normally when the injector pump's not dripping at all, before it started dripping it did not leave anything on the ground. The wheel lift does leak a little bit inside there. And I'll see if I can show you here. Except I turned the PTO off, didn't I? PTO's off. body a few years back and it's always weeped a little bit nothing to worry about it doesn't drip on the ground nothing like that okay hope this helps the video gives you guys better ideas of what there is and uh, good luck with the bidding hope it all goes good and here's the Okay. Have a good one.